Hi, my name is Alex Spencer, and this is a tutorial for Tuts Plus. The Disk Utility application is a powerful tool for keeping the drives that are connected to your Mac happy and healthy. But there are situations in which it may not be available. As an example, if you're connecting to a remote computer via SSH, or maybe Disk Utility simply doesn't want to launch. In this tutorial, I will show you how to find a disk that may have an error, verify that disk from the command line, and then repair it if need be from the command line as well. Let's get started. Before I take you any further, you'll need to understand a couple of things. I'll be working on an SD card I've inserted into my Mac. If you need to target your Mac's hard drive specifically, make sure you substitute the word Macintosh HD or a backslash in place of the SD in any of the commands I'm showing in this tutorial. Also, these instructions are not meant for novice Mac users. If you aren't at least a bit comfortable in the terminal, you may want to stick to the disk utility tool that has a graphical user interface. All of the disks that are attached to your Mac are located within the volumes directory in terminal. This directory is located one step away from the root of your Mac. The command used to switch from directory to directory is CD. In the terminal, type a slash, and that is known as the root or lowest level directory. So to switch to the volumes directory, you'll type CD space slash volumes, and then hit return. Now type LS and press return you'll be presented with a list of disks that are attached to your Mac. Once you have a list of disks, you can target one or many of them for verification and repair. To start the verification process, type disk util space verify volume and then the drive identifier. As I mentioned earlier, I'll be targeting SD, but if you were to target your Mac's hard drive, you could replace that with a slash or Macintosh hard drive. Once you have your target set correctly, press return. You will see it run the test, and when the test comes back, you will either see that it has come back successful, as I have shown here, or you will see an error message that says the volume with the name of the volume you identified was found corrupt and needs to be repaired. Assume for a moment that the disk did come back with an error or needing repair. To repair a disk from the command line, type disk util space repair volume space and then the root to the drive, in this case slash volumes slash sd. Again, if you wanted to target your hard drive, you would just need to type slash. Once you're done, press return. Congratulations, your disk has now been verified and repaired entirely from the command line. The terminal may sometimes feel like an unfamiliar or scary application to use, but it can also be a great place to go when you're in a pinch. In many cases, it may be your only option. So next time you need to repair a disk, give this method a shot. Thanks for watching.